So a few days ago, up on Mount Sicker, the 911 showing we found a quartz vein right here, right below this flag blowing in the wind. About 70 centimeters wide, a white quartz vein with sulfides beside it, and it dives underneath the road here. But we exposed a bit of it. Now, another 20 meters away, we're noticing sulfide stringers like this that contain pyrite and calcopyrite and these are running down like this into the ditch and in this ditch we decided to clear it out because bedrock is very shallow here and we've seen pieces like this This is a big chunk of massive sulfides. And there's a whole bunch of these pieces laying all over the place. So we're gonna trench this area here and see what else we can find. This is all massive sulfides. So you have veins running down like this into the floor here. And this is likely all part of the same vein system as the one around the corner and one down there. Some of the samples Lots of massive sulfides. What you're seeing is pyrite with calcopyrite. This is a schistose rock and it looks like what we've hit is stringer zone and you have just some very large lenses that likely lead to part of this vein up here which is several meters wide and it's also associated with this quartz veining here which is underneath our feet. As you can see, no shortage of samples pulled out from that area. You have a nice amount of calcopyrite in here and fine and coarse pyrite. We got some nice big chunks of sulfides here and I do see some quartz in there. Got another big chunk here. Massive sulfides. And we have more 
our fresh samples. Another big chunk here, freshly pulled out of sulfides from over there. More samples here, you can see the quartz. These look very similar to what you see around the corner in the showing over there. Couple more samples. Calcopyrite and pyrite in this. Nice calcopyrite there. And we have more calcopyrite there. So we have veining over there that's similar, we have veining here that's similar, veining here that's similar, and right here we also have a large amount of veining. You can see this is from the ditch, samples we pulled out of the ditch from in here. And look at all the samples here. All of these are mineralized. And then right here you have your contact. And we dug this out and there's veining all the way up to the edge of the ditch here. We actually removed all this material here from this area. So same strike. And it looks like this is potentially all one vein. You see the sulfides from samples we pulled out here. And this is all material that came out from the contact here. All sulfides. This is quartz. Heavily weathered quartz. See the sulfides running the exact same way as down there. So it looks like we've exposed this vein over a distance of about 75 meters now. And uh, it's at least four meters wide if you take the width of here and down there. And this also could be connected to the vein around the corner, which is directly on strike of this as well. And you can see the quartz of the sulfides, calcopyrite and pyrite. And these samples, when you first hammer them out, look like they are mostly pyrite, but when you look under magnification, you can tell there is uh, a good amount of calcopyrite, and you can see the iridescent color in there. Here's another one just pulled out. We have a few final samples here that we pulled out. And again, pyrite with calcopyrite in quartz hosted in schistose rock. Thanks for watching. Cheers.